everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Rafias and thank you for clicking to watch this video today i'm going to show you four different ways to fold your samosas four easy peasy ways beginner friendly ways to fold your samosas but before we start please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new video of course you'll need samosa dough i have a complete video on how i made the dough already on my channel so all you have to do now is to flatten the dough you have to flatten the dough to be as thin as possible but luckily this doesn't take um so much time just a few seconds you're done flattening so you have to flatten to be as thin as possible as i said earlier you don't want your samosa um, dough to be you know thick your samosa wrap to be thick as thin as possible and i usually like to use this level of thinness or should i say thickness <laughs> so this is the exact level i like to use and the way to achieve this is simply to use a rolling pin that's the best way to achieve it so i'm going to start with the square method and all i'm doing now is to cut off all the rough edges from this in order to form a perfect square shape what i'm trying to show you are different ways to cut out samosa wrappers because the way you cut out the wrapper will determine the method you're going to use when folding so it's good to start from how to cut out so after the square method the second method is um, the circular method and i'm just going to use a small bowl for this the size of the bowl will determine the size of wrap you're going to get the size of samosa wrap you're going to get and i'm using a small bowl for this particular one i'm going to use another size but for this one i'm using a small bowl and after cutting out the shape of the you know the circular shape you want to take out the excess and this is what we have you can see how thin this looks now for the third method you're going to cut out a larger circle the other circle was small so this one is larger you can use a large bowl for this i use the cover of my pot <laughs> With the three methods I just show you of cutting the wraps, you can make different, you know, folding techniques out of them. So what I'm doing here is simply to heat each piece for about 20 to 30 seconds on each side. Preferably use a greased pan for this, slightly greased, not, you know, pouring oil into the pan, no. Use a slightly greased pan and preferably use a non-stick pan, but in the absence of a non-stick pan, all you have to do is just brush with some oil or brush with some you know butter or margarine so repeat this process i just added the square one again you're going to allow each side for about 20 to 30 seconds and please let me mention this everything we are doing we are doing on low heat not medium not high heat on low heat because you don't want your um samosa wrappers to burn when you've not even started making the samosa itself okay so um once you're done with the whole process of heating up go ahead and set them aside and just like that we are done with preparing the samosa wrappers the aim of showing you this whole um, preparation of the samosa wrappers is simply to let you know that the method you use to cut out the wrappers will determine the technique you're going to use to fold for the square shape what you're going to do is to simply cut into three for this particular um, size of square that i made i had to cut into three so for a bigger square you can cut into four so we're going to use each strip for one samosa that's how this particular method works and that's it so now for the bigger circle what you're going to do is to divide the circle depending on the um, number you made divide into four I really like this particular method simply because it yields four different samosas so from one circle you're going to get four different samosas now we're going to go ahead and prepare the sealant the sealant is just going to help us seal the samosas perfectly all you have to do is dissolve some all-purpose flour or cornstarch in some water stir this continuously until you know the mixture is lump free and that's the sealant very easy to make just flour and water now the first method is the quadrant method the method of the big circle <laughs> all i'm doing now is to fold just fold exactly the way you see me doing it it's very easy apply on one side cover with the other side and that's it now all you have to do is scoop some of the filling the samosa filling any kind of filling that you're using scoop some apply some more sealant and that's it it's very easy to make your samosa is ready okay remember there are four coming from one large circle this method is beginner friendly and i totally recommend it very easy to make so now to the second method so pick one strip from the strips we cut earlier and fold exactly the way i'm doing it this method is a very easy method if you ask me and it's for the pros anyway 
but it seals perfectly with this method your samosa cannot leak like there is no way because you're folding you know several times it's very easy this particular method i also recommend it and that is for this particular method as you can see every corner of the samosa perfectly sealed so you guys now we are moving over to the third method and this third method is a you know square shaped samosa pocket not the regular triangular shape that you know that samosas have so this is a very unique way to make samosas just do it exactly the way i am doing it so place one strip on top of the other cover one side apply sealant cover the next side apply sealant and cover the last one it's very easy and you've just made your square shaped samosa pockets i like this particular shape of samosa it's really unique and you should try it now for the last method all you have to do is pick one of the small circles remember the small circles we made earlier so pick one of them and apply your sealant all around it okay this method is another very easy method and beginner friendly method as well so I'll, um, after applying all around the circle go ahead and scoop some of the filling into it now cover one side cover the other side it's very easy to you know do now cover the third side very easy one two three and you're done this one also seals very well and i also like it it's very easy to do you guys that's it four easy peasy methods which one is your favorite which one do you really like which one are you going to you know um keep using when making samosas let me know you can go ahead and freeze or go ahead and fry immediately it all depends on choice it's really cool to have them frozen it means that anytime you want samosas you can just you know get some out of the freezer and fry really cool right you can see that every side of the samosa perfectly sealed so this is really nice tested and trusted and beginner friendly as well you guys i have a full video of how to make both the wrap and filling all in one so do check that out okay and with this i can say thank you for watching this video thank you for coming this far bye bye and i'm going to see you in my next one